Hey guys, Chip here. I got something cool to share with you. This is a, a new product I'm working on. I'm going to go ahead and give it to the Patreon members. And let me show you what it is. Uh, first of all, it's this image right here. You can see these couple these couple images. It shows all these massive cables. And it's real easy to create this. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to go my de design magic up here. I have the cables one. I've got these two new ones, CW Droopy and CW Flat. Let's just grab Flat first. With nothing selected, I just click on Add Insert, and you can see it's got it just drops in a couple of flat cables. So let's let's talk about this. So what I want to do is I'm going to go into Wireframe and I'm going to tab, and you can see that this one cable has just two vertices, right? So if I look at it from the top view, I can just just use the E button E to extrude, and I can just make these do whatever I want to. So let's look at it from the side view. Let's tab into here, select them all. I've got, of course, my 3D view KidOps toggle VP display, which will tell you in it, in the display, that if you want to snap aligned vertices to Z or C or Y, anyway, it's, it's a real easy to do. So I'm gonna, and this is Z, uh, Control Alt Z. So that's it. Let's drop it down a little bit. They'll render both in EV and in cycles. If you look at them, you can see that the material is pretty straightforward. So let's just show you what I'm talking about. I just got a bunch of colors in here and I just need to just change any one of these colors. If I change this one to say, let's change it to green. You can see that, you know, a few of them are gonna turn green. If I wanna make them much glossier, I can, oops, specular roughness. So there you go. So you can kind of see that. So anyway, you get the idea. As you create more cables, so if I just go in here and say I put a shift A mesh cube, we'll stick a cube in here somewhere like this. As we do this, you know, I can go ahead and tab into this and you'll see these verts, right? And so, you know, I can just literally just drag these around to make them kind of you know, do what I want. But other cool thing you can do is just grab one of the verts and say shift D to duplicate it and stick it over somewhere else, right? And so this one, we're gonna go, you know, E, X, this way, E, Z, up here. It's just, you know, we can, you know, do something like this. Tab, tab out of it. It's pretty cool. Now, once I have that done, I can adjust the different parameters for these cables super easily, right? So if I go into the, uh, if I have them selected, and if I, you know, if I haven't selected, then I just go into here, and this is a cable modifier. And, you know, usually this one is good. Sometimes if you want something a little more complex, two might be better, but one should be good. There's a spread number here. So there's a pinch value. So if we do the pinch value to zero, you'll see that these cables kind of bundle as they go into an area. If you use a bulge value, of one, it's gonna spread them out. And if you bulge them, if you pull the bulge down, it's gonna kinda of wrap them in there. And then you have this noise, and the noise is gonna add different variety of noise. So that if you've got different cables, if I duplicate one, for instance, shift D Y, like this, you know, I can add noise to this one and it'll change it, right? I can put it over, you know, let's just move it over like this. So you can kind of see the difference directly of the noise uh, being affected there. You can see it pretty cool. And then you want to add more uh, than 10, you can just hit that button right here, right? So 13, let's take this again, let's move this one out, grab this one, and we'll just, you know, we can, we can, we can adjust the count to a higher number if we want. And I can adjust the size, right? The circle radius is the size of the cable. So the diameter of the cable, so I can, I can move that, hold the shift key down, and I can move that down just really tight so you can kind of see all these different ones and then the resolution eight we don't recommend pumping that up but it's just, you know you're never going to need more than eight in this so uh that's this particular cable one thing it doesn't do is it doesn't do any 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 offsetting to to manage the actual intersection so uh, that's kind of what these spreads can do if you want you can you can spread this out let's spread it out the z for instance z and let's take the noise and let's make it zero. And now you got kind of a, a cool ribbon cable. Isn't that neat? Let's look at the other cable. Let's look at this uh, droopy cable. So that's really meant for things that hang down from stuff. So let's take our box, we'll move it up here. And let's just add this insert anywhere. And you can see it's already drooping down and I'll just put it over here somewhere like this. It's pretty much kind of the same thing, right? If I want to, I can 
look at this and let's go to here and let's tab into it. And we got, you know, we just have these vertices, right? So I just grab this one and let's move it up in here. Let's grab this one, move it into here. And maybe if I want to, I could just say E and put another one down here. We'll put something else down here, something like that. So as you, you know, you can just continue again. I can grab, you know, one coming straight from here and say E and pull it out this way. How you see this cables, you know, right there. So you get an idea how that works. Same kind of thing here that you can do in shader editor you can actually you know adjust the colors of everything in the control for this uh, these jupiter cables you have of course the number of cables and don't get too high but uh, you have the radius of the cable so this is just showing that you've got resolution refers to watching these droopies when i move this down see how coarse it gets so uh resolution maybe 30 is probably pretty good right there to get it perfect um then you have the high droops. So if you move these high, you'll see that there's some of them, you know, the high ones are gonna be drooping like that. And if we look at this and look at the low droops, then we can Return drop those all the way. Power head and, automatic and if we use the low droop, you can see that we can adjust the, the length of these things. And then the star is really the, the, the effect of this area. So if I want the inner diameter to be lower, I can pinch that off. And I can also pinch the out, outer diameter down lower too. So that's what this does, right? So you can, you can adjust these, these little inner outer areas. And then you get just a ton of cables. So I'd certainly be remiss if I didn't thank the gentlemen that have done most of the heavy lifting here. I made a number of adjustments to the geometry node groups but all the credit goes to these two guys. One is Joey Carlino, and he does has a great video on cable generator with geometry nodes. Check it out. I'll post it in the description. And then, of course, Johnny Matthews, who does just huge amounts of heavy lifting for the Blender community, especially in geometry nodes. And he's got a couple different tutorials. And I basically combined these three and added a couple things of my own there. But for the most part, these guys are the guys that are responsible for wonderful tutorials that helped me get to creating these objects. I also should mention that not only will this be on my $1 Patreon, but I also put it up for free on my ideation creation for a while over on my Discord. You can check the links in my description for that. And keep in mind, they all are part of Kit Ops. So all you need to do is drag them and drop them into a existing KPAC folder, and they'll just show up in your Kit Ops interface, and you can drag and drop however you like. So hopefully you've enjoyed this, and and we look forward to seeing you online. Bye.